what we have here is the bearing replacement kit. Um, we've uh, got two O-rings. We've got a special tool to take out the uh, the bearings. We've got two new bearings. For argument's sake, we've got a gyroscope um, that uh, has been dropped and uh, onto a hard surface, and the bearings have been damaged. We've got the one end. We've got a flat screwdriver type uh, connector there. We're not going to touch that end because that's glued in with a really strong glue. If we try to take that out, we're uh, if we can get it out, it will certainly damage the end. So we tackle it from the other end, which is the end with the, the shaft on which connects up to the electric motor. So we take the tool and we, uh, we just align it. You find it line there, like so. You may find the first turn is a little bit hard, but after that it should be quite easy. I find that uh, if you take the end out, you can then just hold it in your, your thumb and your finger, which makes things a lot easier. Right, so as you can see that's now um, undone, it's completely off the thread, so we just uh, we can just push the gyroscope up, that comes out, and we can now take the uh, that top off, and we've got the, the first bearing just sat there, uh, I find if you just take some long nose pliers it's easier just to grab the bearing, oh, just missed that. There we go, we've got one old bearing, make sure that you don't get it mixed up with the new bearings. At the other end, you can see the bearing sat on the end of the shaft. In most cases, um, that will be the case. Occasionally, it will still be in the hole. If that is the case, um, I advise getting a, a little bit of a paper clip, bending over the end, and sort of pushing it through the hole of the bearing, hooking it round behind, and then pulling it out. It may take a few attempts, but I find that's the easiest way to take them out. Um, right, so we've got the bearing on the end of the shaft there. Again, if I just um, grab a uh, on those pliers, it should, uh, should come out relatively easy. There we go. That's the, uh, that's the second uh, bad bearing. Uh, now, you can leave the, uh, the O-rings on, um, or you can replace them. It depends on whether they're uh, uh, if there's any problems with them at all, um, in most cases there shouldn't be. So, what we can do <coughs> is get a new bearing. Just uh, carefully push that into place. There we go, that's one in. The other end, take the other bearing, line that over the top, and you can use the actual tool again. Oops. Yeah, you can use the tool to just push it down. And take the, uh, the the little cap on on the top there. Make sure it lines up properly, and then might now start to turn it. Make sure you don't do it up too tight. So um, when we get towards the end, when you start to feel it sort of start to uh, start to bite. Um, just uh, put the uh, put the uh, uh, T-bar in, and then um, just push the shaft up. You'll see that there's, in this case, there's a little bit of movement still. So what we want to do is we want to get to the point where there's no movement, but we're not actually tightening up too much to squash the bearings. So turn it around and see how many more turns we can uh, we can get. Okay, it's feeling quite tight now, so we don't want to do it too much more. So let's feel there's hardly any movement. So I'm just going to turn it as a fraction, not even a quarter of a turn. Or if it gets too tight, what you do is you damage the bearings again. So uh, we don't want to do that. So there's hardly any movement there now. I'm happy with that. It spins well. No problem. That's it. And that is the bearings replaced on the uh, super gyroscope.